There we go, it's just time to start on the next piece, which will be this indexing ring. Division plate, should I say. Um, this is a piece I had actually glued this piece to in the lathe. Um, so I'm going to use that instead of cutting up another chunk and still having this sit there. So. Uh, as you can see, it's got a 40 degree taper that I, I've got to make a collet as well that fits in there. It's got 12 holes. It's got a knurl, 3 16th wide knurl, which my knurling tool won't get that wide, so it'll just have something to help me work that part out yet, but do something there. And it's got to have 360 divisions around the. Uh, out of, die, out of circumference so luckily this is actually on dimension this outside it's actually at the right dimension from when I've done this piece I just yeah when I've done this one to the right dimension this one end up this piece ended up the same as well so that part's already done It'll be 9 sixteenths wide. I don't know how I'm going to go parting this off. And I worked it out when I come to it. Um, order of operations, I've got no bloody idea. Just going to suck it and see as I go and see what happens. a bit better okay this part has to be 9 16th diameter in total so what my plan is I haven't really got a bloody plan to be honest with you I'm just not too sure how I'm going to attack this okay so after thinking about this for 10 minutes the plan is this face here will be the face that has this 40 degree taper in it so the outside diameter is correct so I'm going to bore the inside out to the inch and 3 sixteenths then I'll put the taper on it and then I'll flip the part around Make sure I've got nine sixteenths sticking outside. The, yeah, uh, you know I can machine it back so I've got nine sixteenths. I know it's going to be a fair bit of wasted material, but just machine it back. Um, so I've got no real way of holding it in the power hacksaw to cut it off, or the part tool's not big enough to cut it off. So, and then I can put this this relief in the back here. And then to be onto the rotary table then to put the knurl in and the 12 holes. So, mm -hmm -hmm. it's all fun and games. That's the hardest part of this job, is working out the order to do stuff and the correct way to do it, I guess. Anyway, there's a week, so it's bloody two weeks worth of work just on this page. <laughs> so now I guess the plan is to put that taper in there, the 40 degree taper. Mm-hmm. This is the way I set the compound. Uh, I've got a 30 degree and a 10 degree block. Um, I use the increments on the cross slide just as a, a rough get there. I've got a magnet under here holding the angle blocks to the 
to the side of the cross slide and obviously a magnet holding them two together. And, uh, to me it's pretty darn good. So let's leave it right where it is. And this is an absolute cheap ass shit indicator which flops around. It's not the best indicators, but does the job so far. So I think I've got the camera finally in the right spot. The outer diameter of this taper has been inch and a half at the end, so. So, what I just learned then was to take an aggressive cut. Taking too light of cuts on that hard material. That little bit of flex in the tool, I guess, was giving me grief. Anyway, I've got to face this off now. Okay, what I've done here is again used a couple of magnets on the chuck. Um, covering in a bit of swarf and shit now, but anyway, they held the um, parallels in there. Two parallels um, against the face, done the chuck up, slight little tap. Eventually got the parallels back out, and it's running pretty true. Oh, this magnet. Pain the ass. Um, you can see I've scribed a line here. As well as this excess material, it has to come off. So I'm not going to bore you with getting rid of all that. Um, I'll just gnaw away at it and then I'll bring this back when that's done. Okay, I made a start on this centre relief. This is pretty much onto dimension on the outside. It's got to be a quarter of an inch deep, an inch and a half on the inside square edge. So I'm just working right, then I'll turn the tool around and work on this inner face here. And just keep swapping and changing. <laughs> Center boss has to be an inch and a half. Hold it there.
a bit of a mark on there, but so good. And is it really worth even trying to give that another skim? No, back right. Um, the next stop for this piece, I think, is the rotary table. Yeah, to um, put in new dickies, the knurl and the increments in the 20, at uh, 12, the, the 12 holes around here. They really had me bugger how I was going to do this part, but thank God that all turned out in the end. Well, it's not done yet, still a chance to screw up. So that is uh, what we ended up with. So this has to have increments. I know it's got a bit of a mark there from the jaws, but I'm sure the increments will soon cover that up. And I've got a mark um, 360 divisions around it, the outside here too. So I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out so far. Really happy actually. Well, as much as this part looks good, it's no good to me. I've had a total cock up. <laughs> I didn't even give it a thought when I was machining this, but it is high tensile. And I didn't give it a thought to when I was had to put the graduations on it. And I started, and the first four looked great, and then it all started turning bad. And it just chipped the ass out of the tool. Um, and to take this out, put it back in with a sharp edge again, you're going to be doing it all the time, all the way around. As much as it started looking good, it's just too tough for the job. And I, I should have clicked onto that earlier, but I didn't. I guess I was having too much fun. So... What I'm going to do is source a bit of mild steel somewhere and machine one up, which you've already seen me do this one. So I won't worry about showing that again, but it'll be done exactly the same way, I guess, at this stage. So it looks pretty cool sitting on the bench. Anyway, um, that was a stuff up. I should have clicked on earlier. And when you think about it, when I've got to put the numbers in it, if I do decide to stamp the numbers, um, it's going to be a pretty hard job. So anyway, live and learn. It was fun making it. Anyway, better find a bit of material now and start building again. There you go. I'm not too sure how clear... The image is showing up there. Um, I've played around with a bit of different lighting, but it's sort of the best I can get there at the moment. Might be a bit better. So I'm up to doing these increments. Um, the longer line, so every 10, that's 220 thou long. Every 5 is 170 thou. And the every, and the ones, you'd say, um, are 120 thou long so I've done 60 degrees so far um, once I get this done then I'll spin it in the lathe again and just ever so lightly buff them them burrs out and it should end up with a nice nice clean um, engraving there um, another thing thing I've got to do is put like a knurl on this outer side here which I might just use a ball end mill and put a series of lines I haven't worked that part out yet but that's 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 a fair way down the track just yet I can tell you that because this just takes forever to do this job it's, it's a very time consuming job and it's not one you can rush 
because one one screw up and you may as well throw the part out because it's going to look like absolute crap. Just take your time. That's all you can do. I bought this rotary table, I thought I wouldn't use it that often, you know. So yeah, it's a big investment and sort of how many times am I going to use the bloody thing. i tell you what, I'd be absolutely screwed without it now. Use, I use it more than what I ever, ever dreamt of using it. So, I'm not going to bore you with any more of that. Um, and the way I'll do them. Um, so far I think they'll all look pretty good when they're done. It's a terrible hard burr it's got on the end but that'll soon buzz off all right. So there you go. There we go. 360 divisions done. Thank God for that. That's a mission. Okay, that's how the wheel turned out. Not too bad. Considering it's a second crack at it. And this first one would have been nice, but uh, it's a lot better finish on it. This material was pretty hard to get a good finish. And this one, yeah, it being so hard, it was pretty easy, but yeah, impossible to put the increments on. But anyway, that's a live and learn. Um, what I think I have to do now is make one of these tool holder fixtures so 
I can actually I've got to, I can screw this on at any time. Screw that under there. Cleaned up obviously first. Screw it on. Then I can mount this to it. Um, and then make spot pages here. Then I can make the collet, the nut. Once all that is fixtured to the casting, then I can obviously drill a hole through here, which has the plunger lock, because this has to have 12 holes drilled around here, so you can lock this wheel. Once it's all fixtured on, when I drill through, I can actually pick up the radius it has to be and there's no guesswork coping I've drilled this correctly to the radius of this well you know get get the get the alignment right what I'm trying to say um, so it's going to be a little bit of chopping and changing so I think I'm going to have to just pick a tool holder that I need um, whether it be a square one for the half inch square, some I sometimes use half inch in the shaper, um, or whether it just be a, a round one, I don't know yet. I just just suck it and see as I go. Um, yeah, so trying to work out different the procedure to do things is the hard part. I'm starting to find. Anyway, what it is is what it is. So I've just got to slowly work through it all. But anyway, that's what we ended up with. And um, slowly making headway. <laughs> slowly. It's a, This is a project that never stops giving. I can tell you that. Anyway, that's it. We done well. You see it's called Disaster Bay. And that's the uh, mouth of the Wamboin River comes in now there is a way you can get to that beach but I'm, I'm not 100 percent sure how to get there but one day we're going to find it <laughs> it's a pretty place but i don't think you'd see too many people on that beach down there <laughs>